We have a wild ending to share about the search for a missing boy. Police say he crawled into a construction worker's pickup truck bed down in Daytona Beach and fell asleep. And the worker didn't realize it until he stopped in Jacksonville. Just within the past couple hours, that man called News 4 Jax and said he wants to share what happened. News 4 Jax reporter Bree Eisen just spoke with him. Bree, he said the boy was terrified and cold, but he's just glad that child is okay. Pretty crazy story. So yes, I just spoke to this man and he hopes that that child remains okay. He's worried about him because what he saw, that look on the child's face, he'll never forget. Now, the man tells me that the child was wearing a tattered t-shirt, shorts and flip-flops, and it was chilly just like it is right now. And he traveled an hour from Daytona on the freeway. That kid's gonna be really cold. So this happened around 5 a.m. when he left Daytona, he believes. Then when he got here, he got to this gate off of Old St. Augustine Road, went in there about 640 in the morning, got some drinks, that's what he said, and then went to work, which his office is near here, he said. Then he checked his trunk at around 9 a.m. That's when he found the boy in there. And now just take a listen to what he said because he'll never forget the look on that child's face. He, he looked at me, he wouldn't say a word. He just looked at me with a look of complete and utter terror. And it just, it scared me. I mean, it broke my heart. And now coming up on News for Jacks at 10 and 11, I'll share this whole story with you. But you'll definitely want to hear how this man thinks this child got into it and where that child is right now. I'm reporting live near Old, Old St. Augustine Road, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.